Time now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. In a world where every wedding guest is a photographer and every detail from I do to the after party is shared online, the most talked about wedding trend is going tech free. Problem solver Susan Hogan has the story. You heard it right. Couples are now asking guests to divorce their digital devices during wedding ceremonies. When photographer Spring Smith McKinney tied the knot, she focused on having an intimate affair. I wanted it to be personal. I wanted it to be about my husband and I. So guests found this message tucked into their invitations. We respectfully ask that everyone consider leaving all cameras and cell phones off. It's known as an unplugged wedding and couples nationwide are requesting or even requiring that guests turn off their tech. Abby Larson, creator of wedding web style Style Me Pretty says cutting out digital distractions like texting, pictures and social media is a growing trend. We have become a world that is so hyper connected to every one and everything. So an unplugged wedding allows you to sit and really listen and be a part of the festivities. Brides and grooms are also spreading the word on save the dates, wedding websites and ceremony programs. Even a tasteful sign at the event is considered appropriate. The decision to go tech free could offend some guests who prefer to stay plugged in. The best you can do is really explain to them the reason why you're having this unplugged wedding, explain to them the benefits um, and hope that they understand. Wedding etiquette experts say if you do request that your guest unplug and someone needs to make a call for personal reasons, like to check on the kids, be sure to give them your blessing. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan. Eyewitness News.